Welcome YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I'm going to review Javon Monroe's debut project on his own, which is 10CMD, which I think also means 10 Command. So basically, Javon in the later years of the 2010s was starting to kind of break away from just doing Blood on the Dance Floor stuff and wanted to embark on a career of his own and be separate from the Blood on the Dance Floor because a number of things, he was kind of having problems with Davi and such, not specifically just him being terrible, but just kind of between him having HIV and not being able to get the medication for it and having to tour when he didn't always want to and stuff like that. So there's a number of things, but he, he's a pretty, Javon is a pretty stellar, uh, Javon is a pretty stellar solo artist, I would definitely have to say. And he does have some hits on here that are, that rival some of the stuff that Blood on the Dance Floor does. Now, the only problem with this is just the fact that it doesn't really have a single attached to it. A lot of this, it this was a pretty difficult album to kind of figure out about. It's not on Spotify. There's not really a CD packaging of it. And I don't think things, extra things that could help, like the library would be able to get a few of these projects. So this is pretty low key. I would be surprised if like 5,000 copies were sold of this. But it's not like to say... Like, just because Javon's unpopular, but just because Blood on the Dance Floor, they weren't going gold and platinum and that type of stuff. So it's just kind of, or this is kind of a rarity in a lot of ways. And I definitely feel like, I definitely feel like it's worth investing in if you can find it. I'm not sure if Javon made a CD of this album, but I would definitely have to say it's pretty solid enough to maybe we could get some folks to manufacture it and distribute this. This is actually a pretty old release now. This came out in the summer of 2015. And that's odd just because, you know, it, it's been, it, it's odd because it's been a while since Javon has been around. Apparently, out of the only other two projects he dropped, he dropped some, like, Master of Death album in 2015 that might be him. And then there's a Javon EP from 2017 that's self-titled after his name. But he really didn't do much. He's kind of moved on to, like, drag shows and stuff like that. I mean, he still has income and he... Apparently he ghost writes songs for other people as well, but I think the Javon that was, you know, the popular Javon from like 2009, 2010 and the Blood on the Dance Floor days, I don't want to say that those days are over, but it's too bad that he doesn't have more exuberance with wanting to push further with music because... It, the, one of the few weaknesses to this album is just the fact that it just doesn't have, like, the marketing. I feel like this is a pretty excellent album. Songs like Uneasy, Love Rehab, Obituary, All I Want. These are all excellent kind of dance club and just electronic sounds and songs in general. But it doesn't have, like, I don't know which song Javon would have picked for, like, a music video, nor do I know how this project would have gotten out there. I mean, I don't know if Javon was signed to a label when he did this. This is interesting about it, but the problem with it is, is there's so little information about this album. You kind of just have to go more off of intuition and just good judgment more so than being able to say the details and the facts as they're relayed to you with most musicians. But for despite whether or not this album only sold like 5,000 or 8,000 copies or something, I do feel like it's pretty solid and it's definitely worth investing in. So I'm going to go ahead and list the six songs out of nine that I recommend to you, and then I'll talk about some of them, and I'll talk about some of the ones I didn't enjoy also. So the six songs I recommend would be Uneasy, Welcome to Your Funeral, All I Want, Love Rehab, Numb, and Obituary. Or Obituary. So that's six of them. So really, one of the most up-tempo songs on here, and there's really some gorgeous singing in the chorus, is Uneasy. Really kind of feels like an 80s new wave kind of song, something that you would have heard from like Cyndi Lauper or The Police or something like that. This really feels 80s, just with kind of a rave type feel towards it. It's easily kind of a dance song, but this has like that rave kind of quick dancing kind of feel. Definitely enjoyed that one. All I Want is kind of like an EDM song. Like EDM was still kind of around somewhat in 2015. So that kind of has that synthy kind of chorus that most EDM songs kind of have. But it really works for like the dance club. Javon knows the various places to step out to. I feel like Welcome to Your Funeral. Welcome to Your Funeral is probably the most rave-like song on here. Definitely intended for like a nightclub. And Uneasy and, Uneasy and Welcome to Your Funeral are kind of a good one-two punch for head, heading out to raves and that sort of thing. So I definitely appreciate that. Numb was another dance club song. I, I like that one's pep. Really, it was kind of a nice dance. Had, Numb had a nice dance club bop to it. Real peppy. 
definitely kind of felt like there's some dance club numbers on here, but this one's not as much EDM numb. Numb is not quite as EDM sounded, but it is another great one for the dance club. And then Obituary kind of reminds me of something that Cobra Starship or Usher would have done. It's similar to like the DJ God is Falling in Love song. This has that kind of 2011, 2010 type feel that a lot of dance club and had a feeling of a lot of dance club and EDM and pop type feel of some of those groups. Rihanna, Cobra Starship, Usher, Pitbull, some of that type vibe. It's just it's neat that Obituary kind of had that feeling towards it. So yeah, there's some great moments. Plenty, a couple songs for the rave, a couple songs for a nightclub, a couple songs for a dance club, and even a song for techno in there with Love Rehab. So it's just kind of... I mean, a lot of this is... I mean, the only problem I have with it is, for some reason, I want to say that Javon... I like these club songs, but for some reason, I just could not get past the fact that it just lacked like a, a true megaton hit single. And I think the only, like this is good music, but it needed like a song like Blood on the Dance Floor's Money and Hose, or like S My D, or like Bewitched, or something like that. It just needed a hit that was going to cross over. It definitely has the hits, but they mostly, the whole album feels like album cuts. Which is not a bad thing, but I just wonder what song Javon was going to get behind and really back. It would have been interesting to see if he would have made like a music video, because I know he was a millionaire. I can almost guarantee back in 2015 he was a millionaire and stuff, so I definitely think he could have put out like a pretty sleazy and drag infested kind of music video, at least one. I guarantee it would have probably helped a lot with the promotion. But some of the songs I didn't enjoy were like To Burn, Go Home Girl, and Leo. Leo, I just feel like kind of had a bad melody and just wasn't as good of production as some of the other songs. Go Home Girl, I didn't really appreciate the topic. Basically, Jay Vaughn kind of not being satisfied with groupie women and turning them away because he can see right through them and that type of stuff as if the facade is not really working. And um, then To Burn... That was the second song on this album. I don't know. I just had too much of a beat change up. I just felt like I, it was kind of just a real kind of morphing kind of song, and I didn't really like the chorus on that one either. But um, so that, that's kind of the concept. But like two thirds of this project is well, really the whole album is about stepping out. It's just kind of a variation of how much you like for it and what you're looking for. Because there's definitely some hit rave songs, some hit dance club songs, a techno song. And even kind of like early 2010s EDM type moments that, that you get from Cobra, Starship, Pitbull, and Usher and those type people. But it doesn't do that very often, but it at least does it. So it's just, Javon is a pretty fun individual. He knows the sort of music to make for going out. Perfect kind of shot in the arm for a weekend material and that type stuff. Just works extremely well. And uh, it's basically as fun as a blood on the dance floor album and it really has the personality i haven't really seen Javon sing like this for the most part i know him for like his screamo choruses but he's a pretty solid singer i definitely this works as like some pretty fashionable kind of electronic r&b pop type stuff and i just would have to say it is pretty encouraging to get that it's really too bad that he did not do more projects like this because this is just a weird and kind of random tangent of a burst of energy here that could have been definitely exploited a lot further and would have been great but so i'm going to give this album an eight out of ten just because of the six songs out of nine that i liked it's two-thirds but they were good and there was only just three songs out of nine that i didn't enjoy so that's pretty good for that and um the social score i will give like a seven out of ten i'm going to give it a slightly lower social score because there are a number of outgoing and stepping out moments but there's nothing to really anchor this album as far as like the main go-to hit like when you think of blood on the dance floor's bewitched or you think of money and hose or something like that it doesn't have that so it's kind of you're just basically playing it by ear playing it by word of mouth and that type of stuff which i don't mind in some cases but then i kind of do mind because i would like to have the anchored hit that i could say this is the best song on the album and the rest of the album complements it but i don't know blood on the dance floor has always been kind of strange with promotion and it's just odd i would have you know i definitely would have liked to have seen what javon would have done with the music video probably would have been flashy and colorful as fuck would have definitely appreciated it and could have said something but for what it is it's not going to knock the score too badly but it did kind of knock the social score so can this record be topped it's pretty damn solid i think it stands out in a lot of good ways and in terms of the future, like I said, Javon as a musician has been gone since 2017. So it's kind of like, it's just like, damn, you know. 
but I do feel like this is some excellent music, and for what it is, if you can get a hold of it, if it's actually available somewhere, I would definitely look into purchasing it. Something strikes me as it's only a digital album, but this needs to be manufactured and kind of seen. But yeah, this, it really is kind of like a complete secret kind of project just because of the sheer lack of promotion, but yeah.